off season for about four months for these guys and ladies. Pace car is off. The three car on the inside will lead them as the green flag waves in the air. We are racing at Daytona. Finch with a nice push to Willie Mullins as they head into turn one. Tony Breidinger, though, not wasting any time on the outside in row number two. Remember last year, that 27 car of Tim Richmond was racing for the lead late in the race and ran out of fuel. And as we look to get the field a little more organized, the you know, Arc Menard Series does group qualifying, and I feel like it really splits up the field in a lot of ways as far as which cars are strong and which aren't as, as guys are seeing, seeing the jockey for position pretty early. Greg Van Alls making moves early. Oh, oh trouble already. And we've got Tony Breidinger around the 25, and they're wrecking all over the place. Shane Caution Gisberg is, is out. Well. Yeah, S SVG is in that as well. Shane Van Gisbergen had to run this race to be able to race in the Xfinity race, so this will be interesting to see what the officials say. I think Tanner Gray and the Gibbs number 18 was also in that. Jeff Schofield in the 07 we see there. Big damage to Amber Balkan. Amber Balkan, full-time. I think that's Ed Pompa in the number 10 car for Andy Hillenberg. That's the, that's the 25 of Tony right in the middle. Let's see if she gets squeezed. So I, th I think the O2 got a got a push there and wiggled down the racetrack, and then they just kind of squeezed and touched on corner entry to one. And just really tough part of the corner. The car is really light, and uh, obviously a, a small push when you're racing that close, you know, only a few inches door to door uh, generates some contact. Yeah, and the majority of these cars that involve nothing, nothing they could do. There, Tony gets into the 97 of Jason Kitzmiller. And everybody else is just checking up, trying to miss yeah. it. I mean, half He's doing the their best to try to miss it. See the 28 on the right Ooh. side of your screen spinning around. That's Shane Van Gisbergen. Here's a suit chief on board for Tony Breidinger. Yeah, so when that, that push got delivered to the 55, I mean, Tony, you can see by the lines on the racetrack, she was holding her car dead straight. Just uh, got a push. That 02 car came down the racetrack and, and shoved her into the inside lane, and then everyone else is involved. And, and it was really cool reading some of Marco's interviews about why he wants to be in the series. He's, he's raced on some of the biggest stage. Ooh, big accident with uh, one of our already damaged cars. Yeah, Mandy, yeah. Mandy Chick, she had a top five finish here last year, was involved in an accident. More than likely, probably a tire rub from some damage from that earlier wreck. Tough, tough break for Mandy, though. So Mandy Chick brings out the third caution of this race. That is a tough break. I feel like this race last year, we talked so much about her and her yeah, background. Yeah, such a great run. Got the window net down. It's obviously, uh, seems to be all right. Talking with the safety workers. It's a good sign. Working lap 21 of 80 here. Engineering student at Rose Holman. Engineering school. Fighting engineers. Mm -hmm. Let's take the first look here, exactly what happened with Mandy Chick. Yeah, I think similar to what you said, Phil, probably had a, had a tire go down. and It's all the debris on the racetrack, probably from where that tire went down. Crush panel, all, the whole rear fender's gone on that car. Really at all throughout the field, so I think you got the fast. Oh, fast no. Cars. Oh, gosh. We've got Christian Rose Christian trying Rose. to hang on to it. Can he save it? They're avoiding him Ooh. all around. What a time you can keep it off the wall here is a job well done for Christian Rose. Without a doubt. That's a tough spot being turned sideways in the trial. And caution comes out. This is the scheduled caution. Oh, and we have cars all the way around as the caution came out. That's Willie sitter. Mullins. The pole sitter going around. Dale Quarterly, the four, Leland Honeyman, and the zero two. Got a couple others back there involved. Somebody stopped on the track. Can't really see the number there. That's the 13 car right there. That's that's Armani Williams. Armani was involved in that first incident, but recovered. And Marco Andretti got caught up in that. We've got Mark Andretti already spun all the way at the top of the field. 
comes down in Dale Quarterly and uh, other cars just dodging the miss and locking down brakes. Uh, I wonder what further back, probably exit of turn two, how uh, how Marco got uh, got turned sideways. Doesn't look like Leland Honeyman had much damage. You see that's Patrick Emerling, the blue and white car behind Marco. This is about the time the caution is going to come out. I'm not sure it's out yet. Yep, you saw it on the Did you see? The okay, wall right so the there. caution yeah, is out, but I'm not sure anyone had backed off yet. They, they looked really stacked up in that outside lane. I don't know if the, the, the couple of leaders were backing up, but you know, Marco was really tucked up. I believe that was the 55 at Gustine. I think he was trying to stay off of him, and whether if that's due to the fact that Marco doesn't really have a rear bumper anymore, you know, is that what makes that push go so bad or is it just that big of a run? Kind of hard to tell from the from the front facing angle, but either way, um, yeah, hooked Marco in front of the field. I think there might have been a little bit of a touch there from yeah, from Armani Williams Add it to the list of don't push here. Yeah. Uh, wow. What a good save. Look how much steering he's got in that thing. On board here from from Lavar Scott. I mean, he is. That reminds you of that Kyle Busch save. I don't know if it was 2015 or when something. When he won like the that. clash. When yeah, he won the yes. clash. I mean, he is. I mean, look look at the tire tracks he's leaving. He's he's more than 45 degrees sideways. And Big Willie never got out of the gas. He's <laughs> standing on that thing. Yeah. I uh, I think it all depends on how long this outside lane stays in. We've got two really, really fast cars. Oh. And around goes back. the 99. That's Michael Maples. Uh, the wall. Oh, gosh. And that's another huge hit. And they hit again. And there's change. And Scott Melton. Is that big, big Willie? That was Big oh. Willie that hit Scott Melton. Willie Mullins right there in the three. He was the pole sitter. Looked like he, he was... He hit him really hard, and then it looked like it hung the throttle wide open almost, and gets pretty wide coming off the corner and just, just loses gets it. Loose, got just got loose. He's got something sparking back there. I, I think he had some sort of an issue where he lost the back of the car because he was kind of tracking up the racetrack all the way on the exit of the corner by himself, and then obviously collects uh, kind of a bystander there in the in the 69 car, and and really Mullins hits him ton in the back of that car and it's hard to see it from this angle but there was a lot more smoke than it looked like probably from from the angle that we were looking at it so willie was probably in that smoke so violent you see hard, that yeah. impact and jake finch boy working 60 laps led so far tonight so oh, we impressive got a, for this got young a car man. on fire we've got a car two. on fire there Mark it is andretti. marco andretti He's had that damage, had a couple issues earlier, and the caution is out for the eighth time with about three and a half laps to go in this race. Oh, wow. More than likely, we will have a one-lap overtime shootout. They will take the green flag and the white flag together. This is ARCA overtime. One more lap to decide it. One more. One lap shootout. We've been here a long time. You all have been watching and listening for a long time. Here it is. Everything on the line. Who will win at Daytona? There they go side by side, the teammates. They head into turn one. Jake Finch, Gus Dean. They weren't able to do what we expected as far as the teammate restart. It's, it's delayed a lot further, and Gus Dean has the advantage now as the, as the second place car. And Andres Perez has a, has a big run here, is trying to get clear. Gus Dean's getting way too far out in front. And we're going to have a run from the outside as well. Jake's going to have a run. Now it seizes up a little bit. A little side draft on Andres Perez. It's going to depend on which lane gets the bigger oh, push. Oh, no. Jake Finch Jake goes Finch around and dominated this race, wrecking all over the place at the front of the field. That will end this race. Andres Perez, huge hit on top of another car. Gus Dean in the 55 will unofficially be the winner of this race. Let's see what happened here on the final lap. Just a lot of pushes, and there was a lot of momentum coming back to that third row, and uh, that outside lane started it, and uh, yeah, just a lot of pushing and shoving. Yeah, I think Andy J was in the back of Jake, and I think Andy J had uh, had Lewis in the back of him as well, and yeah, they all just it was almost simultaneous. The, the inside and the outside got to the second row at the same time, and just kind of fishtailed each other and 
into both lanes. Watch and Perez in that two car up against the outside wall. He's actually climbing over Find another car here. And he like stays mounted on top yeah, of the That's Andy, Andy car. Jay's car. Is that Armani Williams? It is, it is. The 13, what an impact for Jake Finch. Led 66 laps tonight, only to go straight into the wall on the final lap. Here's another look. Yeah, Jake's just going down the straightaway and they start pushing and shoving there and. Should be good on onboard view here from uh, from Perez coming mm -hmm. up as he's he's obviously the car that's He's on top on of Andy Jankowiak's car. Yeah. Could be a wild ride. So he's getting the side draft, thinks he has a chance to, to win this race, and then lots of pushing and shoving. 20 gets turned into the fence, and then two car goes for a ride. Oh, my goodness. Amazing pictures. There he is. Fought so hard. Gus Dean drove a great race. Brings it home for his grandfather, who he just lost his best friend a couple of weeks ago. Said he's going to race and win for him, and he does it. 